Night show. I am super happy to have you here today. So come on in, come on in and get in where you fit in because I've always got room right around my table for you, your friends, and your friend of me. So go ahead, like, share, start a watch party, run and tell somebody that Lush Roche Ignites is hot on the box. I'm going to encourage you, grab your notebook and grab your pen because I always say note takers are money makers and note shakers are change makers. Look, I got that thing all on my face. Look here, y'all. I'm so happy to be here. How can I be in two places at one time? Just like that. That's what I'm talking about. It's time to win. So come on, come on in, come on in and get in where you fit in. Right? So there we go. You know, I always like to start the show. Nice and easy, breezy peasy. Go ahead and tell your friends to come on in, come on in and get in where they fit in because I've always got room right around my table for them, their friends and their frenemies and yours too. So with no further ado, I want to talk to you tonight about a wonderful topic that my guests and I are going to have today. We are going to talk about caregivers, destiny helpers and look, we're going to lead into an amazing event that's coming up that's being hosted by a phenomenal organization of thriving women. They're not just surviving, they're thriving and they're reaching out to women all around the world and helping them thrive as well. So what I'd like you to do, please, please, please come on in and get in where you fit in and go ahead and tell a friend, like, share, this broadcast to everyone you know and tell them to come on in to the show. So I know you're probably saying, Dr. Lowe, you haven't told us what's in your cup most recently. So here goes. Mm. Whew, I don't have nothing in my cup now, it's all gone. I had some tea earlier and it was delicious. So I got the empty cup syndrome. Who going to send me some tea? Who going to send me something to drink? Because myself and my guests may get parched. So just send us some virtual libation. So with no further ado, I want to tell you a little bit about my next guest. My next guest, she is coming all the way from Greensboro, North Carolina. She's the CEO of Women With Vision. She is a speaker. She's an author. She's a trainer. And she's been a nurse for, hmm, I would tell you, but that's some secret sauce. I think I'm going to let her tell you how long she's been a nurse. Don't you think that's fair? I think that's fair. (laughs) So listen, folks, when she comes in, her name is Miss Charlene, Mrs. Charlene Sparks. When she comes in, please go ahead, give her some love. And and here's what we're going to do. We're not even going to put any L's in there tonight. What I'd like to do tonight as we get right and tight, I'd like to go ahead and put some S's in there, right? Some S's in there for Miss Charlene Sparks. Put some S's in there if you would, please. I would greatly appreciate it. So with no further ado, we're going to bring to you our guest. But before we do, I want to pay some bills. That's right. I want to pay some bills and thank each and every one of our sponsors. And so here is a word from one of our sponsors right to you.
That's right, she's here. You see it down below? That's Shirley Sparks. She is the CEO and she is the founder of Women with Vision. She's the co-owner of Advantage Health Connections Incorporated. And you've got to see her up close and personal as we discuss Caregivers Destiny Helpers right here only here at lotus roche ignites come on it's time to ignite and take flight in every area of the <laughs> caregivers of your life let's get it y'all welcome charlene sparks charlene sparks charlene sparks <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> awesome hello how you doing Cheers. this evening so happy to have you here Thank you so much, Dr. Lotus, for bringing me on. You know, I'm always excited to come on for the secret sauce. Yes. <laughs> and we have got quite a bit of secret sauce tonight because you've been, actually, you've been blowing up the spot with your amazing events that you've been doing for healthcare providers and even for the people that love them. And so that's great. And so I'm just happy and anxious to have you on the show tonight. Um, and for those of you that may not be acquainted with uh, Miss Charlene Sparks, because she's like the silent threat, you know, she don't make a lot of noise, but when she talks, we <laughs> listen. And so that's what we're here to do tonight. We're here to talk about the Caregiver's Destiny's Helper, which is an event that she's going to put on. But before we go there, I'd like, Miss Charlene, tell us more about you, because I know the wonderful things about you, but tell us a little bit more, if you will. Okay. Well, thank you again, Dr. Lotus. Um, my name is Charlene Sparks. I am the founder for Women with Vision Inc. NC. And in addition to being a mom, a wife, an author, you know, I am a nurse by profession, but I'm also a, a diabetes lifestyle coach as well as a caregiver advocate. And what I found over the past year is that I've been doing more navigating for caregivers. And I guess with the change of the world, it's getting busier with the caregivers yes. world. So pretty yes. much that's been my journey over the past year is focusing on embracing, empowering, and elevating caregivers to move to the next level. And of course, we know it's not easy, you know, at this time, you know, with everything going on. Yes. Yes. Well, I got to tell you, you do so much for so many. Um, and, and I got to give a special shout out to your husband whoop, whoop, because he's always <laughs> also there supporting the women with vision and the caregivers. And I got to tell you, you, you all do a phenomenal job, even right down to your children. You've got children that are in the entrepreneurial space and they are really setting their footprint in the sand of life and in business to help make this world a better place. So I want to salute you and thank you <laughs> thank for you. what you're doing. So let's get right into it. So tell us, let's, let's talk a little bit about some of the things we chatted about in person. So can you tell us about the women with vision? Because the women with vision, they're hosting this phenomenal event. So let's talk about Women with Vision and the event and how it all merged together. Okay. Well, Women with Vision started back in 2017. It was a little bit prior to the COVID pandemic. However, we were already preparing to help caregivers before this journey came along. Right. So when we kind of moved into this journey uh, now, it, we were right in the right place at the right time. But our vision with Women With Vision is to help women, families, caregivers, to just be the best version of who they are. And I know that's a broad statement when you say the best version, because so many caregivers are at different levels. And one thing I've learned in life is that 
people are at different levels and yes. caregivers is on that journey where they don't really care about themselves very much because they're so focused in on caring about other people. Right. And of course, I'm no longer in the clinical setting, but I do remember when I was there, how I would just let myself go yep. and take care of everybody else. Come home, get ready, take my shower yep. and go take care of somebody else and not even consider how important it was for me to take care of myself right. spiritually, mentally, and physically. And so I, I believe since I've kind of gotten away from the area, God has just had a way of showing me, hey, you have to go back in and pull some out, out and just help them along the way because it's a tough journey. And mm -hmm. so that kind of led us up to having back in 2007, a prayer breakfast mm -hmm. we had we initially started out with about 20 caregivers and when i say caregivers my definition of caregivers is totally different from the webster dictionary when i say caregivers i'm talking about men women boys and girls right now everybody is taking care of everybody we have even started a home care training to help teens in the home to take care of their mothers and fathers and you know teaching uh spouses how to honestly take care of their loved ones right and so it's like we all are having to relearn yes. you know we yes. learned a lot yes. in the past but we are relearning how to take care of one another exactly. so those were some of the things that kind of led up to uh us putting on empowerment education events and mm -hmm. that is to empower caregivers to take care of themselves. We know awesome. most of the time people don't want to hear that. They think you're selfish when we talk about self-care, but uh -huh. God wants us to take care of ourselves so we could take care of him and others. <laughs> exactly. exactly. And so I'm very proactive on taking care of yourself as well right. as taking care of others. And that's so awesome. that's kind of how we kind of started with uh, caregivers. Now, I believe God has given us all a purpose in the earth to do what, you know, we have to do. And so it's like, we're all are here on a destiny right now. We have to exactly. fulfill that destiny. And I believe with all the cares in the world, if we begin to focus in on our purpose and our vision and what it is he want us to do, then right. I think we're going to be more fulfilled. Right. And it's not always about the money. It's more so about you being fulfilled on the inside. And hey. all that other stuff yep. is going to come. It's right. going to come along with the journey. And right. so I was thinking about um, a time when uh, we were preparing for our first caregivers event and COVID hit. So we mm -hmm. ended up having to have it virtually. Right. And I was so afraid because I wasn't really sure whether this thing was real with the virtual because I was into virtual a small amount, just webinars, you know, very simple webinars. And that was pretty much it. And the Lord directed me last year to go ahead with the plan. Just go ahead and have this. So I did. Right. And it turned out wonderful. But this year this would be the first one that we've actually brought on live and virtual. So we're right. going to have live and virtual. I wasn't for sure whether we were going to do virtual this time, but we're going to pull it all together and we're going to do both. And so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the event. It's called Caregiver Destiny Helpers uh, Weekend Gala. And it encompasses 
a Friday day where we call it a women with vision day, even though men can set up and men can, men will be involved with this, but we're having an expo day where we're going to have uh, caregivers, businesses to come through and we're going to empower them with self-care. And so right. I'm so excited to actually um, be a part of uh, this major event at the Entrepreneur Center here in Greensboro. And all of our women with vision, our partners, the ones that can make it here that weekend, they will have a booth at this setting and you have a chance to talk to coaches, caregiver, you know, people that can really help you. Right. Authors, we're going to have a great, great community of right. just networking and really bringing it together. Right. And so I'm so excited about that morning part. But the evening then, part, oh my goodness, we will be at the Sheraton Hotel here in Greensboro for our evening and the remainder of the weekend. And we're going to open it up with at 6 o'clock p.m. with a porch talk worldwide with Dr. Pastor Dorothy Ross. And you yes. guys know how she is. You, Many of you know her. And I tell you, to have it live is going to really be something because we have women coming from all over North Carolina, South Carolina, Chicago, Georgia, Virginia. Yes. We just have everybody, Washington, New York. We have people coming from different areas and for all of us to come together to bring that empowerment. I told you we are about Embracing, empowering, empowering right. and elevating. And we don't play with that. We make sure when you come, you will leave here on a new level, whether it's spiritually, mentally, or physically. And so, so I'm excited mm -hmm. about Porch Talk that Friday night. And all of this is going to be live. This whole day will be live, virtual, and um, live. And so Saturday, morning we're going to have a prayer breakfast now right. we always do that because that was the foundation of the company so mm -hmm. every time we have something we we have a prayer somewhere that's going prayer. that's <laughs> right we always make sure we keep prayer in the forefront of everything that we do because there's so many distractions out here yes and we yes. have to stay focused and you know with caregivers nurses medical people you know people taking care of people we can easily get distracted and so we're gonna make sure that if you're here, you, you're welcome to come to our prayer breakfast. This will probably be the only part we will not um, virtually show because right. we're going to be releasing some powerful stuff in this room. And you want to yes, be here are. for this room. <laughs> this is the room you want to be in on Saturday morning, okay? Yes. And so it's going to be exciting. And my husband and I are going to share some things with the people. And we're going to share with you all. We real normal people. We have everyday events just like everybody else. And yes. we believe today we're here because of the miraculous God. We have so many miracle testimonies to share with you. And we that is here is for a purpose. And until that purpose is completed, we'll be here. And so after that, uh, we're going to have some self-care. The ladies are going to have a chance to do some networking, some nail stuff, some hair stuff, all kind of great things. You know, we may, we may even have some foot care going on. I don't know. We're going to have some major stuff going on for us to just enjoy ourselves. I told y'all it's about self-care. We yes. have to wake up and start taking care of ourselves. And, and we can't wait. We can't keep putting it off. We have to find a way to do it. 
I learned that we have to find a way to take care of ourselves a little bit more. Exactly. And <laughs> you guys and are going to have, well, I can't say you guys, we, because I'm a part of the event as well. And we're going to have some swag bags at oh. the event. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have some swag bags. Uh, they're $35. And, you know, if you can't make the event, it's okay. You can share your business journey by supporting the care caregiver swag bag, send her your stuff, get your stuff put in it and uh, gain exposure for your business. Even if you can't make it in person, destiny helpers, caregivers, everybody is going to work together to help get your business noticed and get the information out about your business. So that's phenomenal. I'm loving that. Yes. Loving that. So I want to take a quick break because you um, you hit something, but I really want to kind of give it a little of the secret sauce. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and go on over here to the caregiver screen, and we're going to let you see this right here. Okay. Let me go back, folks. Here we go. Here we go. All right. We're going to start this again. All right. The Sheridan Greensboro Hotel, Joseph S. Corny. That's where it's going to be. So in person, the live event, Friday, November 5th, 2021, starts at 9. Okay. This is a live event. And you can meet our supporters. And here they are. Mike and Charlene Sparks, the CEO and founder. Dr. Denise Little of LaPree Promotions. Nettie Lane, IMFH Ministry. Victoria Brewer, Charlotte Cornier. And Dr. Victoria Sparks, V. Marie and Company, LLC. And Leona Zeno, the wellness woman. Brian Street, your legacy begins now. Carolyn Phillips, Automation Manager. Valerie Jarvis, Geriatrics Consultant. Lorraine Sparks, Hair and Beauty <laughs> Strategist. So make sure you RSVP at the number you see right in front of you. All right. So, wow. It's going to be an amazing event. But guess what? You thought that was something. She's got stuff that just keeps on giving and keeps on giving and keeps on giving. And so now that I've said that, what else can they expect for people who might be speakers or authors that might want to come up to one of your future events that's happening? Because there's something else that's happening besides this. So let's talk about what else is happening besides this. And I'm going to talk about where we might be doing a little finger snapping. So <laughs> yes. I'm okay. that up on the screen and let Miss Charlene tell you a little bit about this. So not only is this phenomenal event going to be here live and in person, there's going to be a gala. There's going to be all kinds of sponsors. And you want to make sure that you're at this gala. And you want to meet these sponsors. Like Dr. Patricia Rogers. She's a visibility strategist. She's going to be there. Sharon Fan, holistic health advocate. She'll be there. Fashion show commentator, Mary Rucker. Sandra Bartell, the author, P-E-L-N. Minister Valerie L. Watkins, she's the CEO of NSF and Sam Griffin, the fashion show coordinator. Dr. Margaret Holmes, health and healing. She's a show host. And Dr. Jackie Edwards, event and more LLC. Dr. Jelon Canterbury, very active CEO. And of course, Dr. Lotus Roche, co-host, coach and training LLC. And Pastor Darcy Ross, CEO, women rocking life. Michi Jeffries, license financial services. Ronald Hamilton, Hamilton and Associates. 
Make sure you join us because that's what's going to happen on Saturday for this star-studded event. So you don't want to miss any of that, any of that. Yes. Wow. And I just want to tell you, this group here is the group I am so grateful for. All of our sponsors, they're the ones who brought the community together. And I'm telling you, there is so much power when we come together and connect. Like Dr. P always tells us, uh, connections, making the right connections. People yes. need people. And I'm so grateful for Dr. Lotus because let me tell you, uh, one part she didn't tell you about, we now have a, a resource directory. And yes. if you want that, please call me uh, at 336 Three six five one four five seven. It is now an international resource directory, and so we have expanded to Africa, Canada, and a few other places with our resource directory. And we're so grateful for Dr. Lotus because let me tell you, this woman has connected us up to the nations and so and Thank i'm you. not really you know national oriented and she has connected right. us up with so many wonderful wonderful resources and i'm so grateful for you dr lotus and this is your time you are the bomb okay <laughs> and i'm so grateful thank you so much and and at this it, we're gonna have a fashion show, but we also have a skit production, almost yes. a theater production. I didn't tell you about that. We have some surprises here too. I can't tell you everything. You know, we gotta keep some secret sauce uh for that night, uh Dr. Lotus. <laughs> yes, we do. And let's have that number again because I know people are gonna want that resource directory. Three three six. Three six five one four five seven. Call me oh, right. if you would like to be in there because the cutoff date is like days, and we have to have your information if you want to uh, be a part of our resource directory. And it has grown tremendously over the past couple of years, and we're so grateful, you know, for all of the supporters for our uh, resource directory. Exactly. So look, folks, we're going to take a quick break very shortly here, and then we're going to come back. But guess what? I'm going to play this video from her place right here. <laughs> Women with vision inside, right inside her event. So watch this, folks. You're going to love it. All right, here goes. <laughs> Women need to be empowered and that could not be overstated. Women are survivors and champions across the planet. And yet they need to feel that way inside and out. Inside is where empowerment comes in. Women need to be motivated to be the best that they can be. How glorious is it to see women empowering women? Well, Mrs. Charlene M. Sparks is that type of woman. She is a woman of vision, and she is the founder of Women with Vision North Carolina, and she aims at empowering women to live their best lives and infuses that with virtue, integrity, success, inspiration, opportunity, and new beginnings. She is a wife of 24 years and a mom of three courageous daughters. Mrs. Sparks knows the struggles of motherhood and womanhood. And she's lived in Houston, Texas for over 15 years, but right now she's back in her home state of North Carolina. <laughs> An adventurous traveling nurse, a compassionate prayer warrior, and compassionate listener, she knows her way around work, hardships, and burnout. She is the resource navigator that elevates with charisma. And she loves the old school gospel with a little R&B. Her motto is embrace, power, and elevate. And with Women of Vision Incorporated North Carolina, 
She makes women embrace abundant living through the inspiration of knowledge, the strengthening of faith, and the birthing of vision. Empower others. That's what she does. And above all, she helps to elevate and help women to see their self-worth. As a foundation to her wonderful life, she embodies this and recites this prayer. Beloved, I pray that in every way you may succeed and prosper and be in good health physically, just as I know your soul prospers spiritually. Listen, don't you quit. Level up and leverage the time you have. With that in mind, she has founded Women with Vision Incorporated in North Carolina, providing consultations and coaching to women all around the world and giving them the much needed boost and attention to navigate their lives and make smooth selling, not just for possibilities, but for their reality. Mrs. Charlene M. Sparks also published her ebook, Step Up, Step Out, and Reclaim. This book is designed to motivate women to grow physically, mentally, and spiritually. And through the pages of her Step Up, Step Out, and Reclaim, she helps women all around the world to build confidence and self-esteem so that they are ready for the journey ahead. Please welcome the phenomenal, the inspirational, the Step Up, Step Out, and Reclaim, the woman that helps women all around the world to embrace empower and elevate their station in life. Welcome the phenomenal Mrs. Charlene M. Swartz, the woman with vision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. God. yes connect with her today everybody connect with her today and go ahead and get on board get on board because let's let's face it the destiny caregivers it's gonna be phenomenal you don't want to miss this for one iota so wow all I can say is you are doing you are doing a phenomenal job all around the world. So you've shared with us what brought about your vision. You've shared with us what inspired you to host such an amazing event. So I know we're narrowing down time, but I would like if you would take a moment to tell people why it is so vitally important that health that that healthcare events happen not just for the healthcare providers but also for the people that love them amen you know like you stated it's not just for healthcare providers we are in a day and time and season in our lives right now where Healthcare, it's almost like it's self care. We have to get back to the basics of taking doing the small things. And I know we're living in a pharmaceutical world, and I know everybody wants to take all the medicines, you know, for depression, for everything to get away from the real world. And I know we know that's happening, however. We always want to encourage you to get back to the basics. And the basics is your spiritual care, your anything naturally you can do to help yourself. Medicine is good to a certain extent, but we don't want to feed into it and hurt ourselves. A lot of people are hurting with medicine right now. Fault. It's because of everything that we're experiencing. And I believe when you come to this event, or even if you virtually attend this event, you're going to be able to empower a family member 
or associate or someone, you're going to be able to take something back with you that's going to help move your family members, your loved ones to a new level mentally. Your mindset is number one because our minds have just been you know, just really been distracted and disturbed so much over the past few years. And we're getting, we have to get back to basics. And when we get back to the basics, we're not going to allow all of those distractions that you hear every day deter us from doing what we know we've been called to do. We're going to be able to stay focused. And I just want to say thank, I just want to thank Dr. Lotus so much for her programs because all of her programs that I've been on, they have just been so empowering, really spiritually, mentally, and physically to help us to establish the balance that we need for our lives. And I thank you. I thank you. I, I thank you. And those are unequivocally some words of wisdom. And, you know, I, I want to thank each and every one of you, all of our viewers, all of our replay folks. I want to thank you for sharing this broadcast. And, you know, I, I got to say, um, here's the thing. If you decide that you need help with caring for yourself, there are people out there if you feel like you you want to lose weight, if you feel like you want to eat healthier, mm -hmm. if you feel like you want to do something natural, like Miss Charlene says, stay focused, stay focused, you know, and remember your value. You are valuable. But if you don't value yes. your value, no one else will value you. And if someone's pushing something on you that you don't really want to do, um, you don't want to eat poorly. You don't want to stay up too late because you need your proper rest. Find your inner voice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stand up for yourself and don't back down when it comes to your health. Right. If there's anything going on in your body, don't back down. Mm -hmm. Find out what's going on. Don't compromise with your health. That's right. And don't compromise with helping your family members mm -hmm. get the rest, get the care that they need. Yes. And everyone can be a caregiver in some shape, form, or fashion. Oh, yes. You know how I know? Because Miss <laughs> Sparks told me so. She's <laughs> working right now to help people all over the world, training them, teaching them how to become the best that they could be when it comes to taking care of themselves and being a, a, a destiny caregiver. How about that? And so, uh, Miss Charlene, we got so many people scrolling in and and I want to thank you, viewers. We hadn't had a moment to acknowledge you because, yes. I mean, she was going in. She was giving us some golden nuggets, right? <laughs> so I want to say hi to you, Miss Phyllis. She said, you took flight. That's how. They from Hampton, VA. Yes. 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 And our friend, our, our just huge supporter, Angela Elty from Burger yes. Wellness, she's here. And Miss Charlene, I asked them to do something different tonight. Instead of putting some L's for some love in there for love tonight, we put some S's in the Yes, yeah, so thank the you. Yes, and we've got the fabulous Camille oh. Rob all the way from Florida. And of course, she knows yes. how to come in the house. She came in with some S's in the place. So thank you so much for putting yes. some S's in the place and thank putting some you. love all in this space. So I appreciate it. And so she said, we have to take care of ourselves too. And that's mm -hmm. the truth. Angie said, while stress can take a gradual toll on our bodies and lives, finding time to take care of ourselves or to de-stress sometimes seems impossible. So yeah. I want to ask you, Miss Charlene, what would you say to someone that says, I, you know, I'm so stressed out, but I just don't have no time. And here's the thing, y'all. I'm about to take a sip because she's about to give y'all some secret sauce. <laughs> well, you know what? People ask me that all the time. How do you do all that you do? And you know what? You have to learn to manage your time. And I learned, I was a little late learning, but I did learn later that I have to make my self-care a priority. 
Right. You're just going to have to reprioritize what you're doing and some of the things that you feel like you may need to do there, there come later, but you got to start. I realized for me, I had to start putting my self care first, first. Mm -hmm. otherwise, Hey, you could do all these great things. And at the end of the day, if you haven't done what you needed to do for God spiritually and haven't done what you need to do for yourself, hey, you're yep. on a losing journey. And we, ha we have been struggling for so many years in our household with exercise what do we do what's really working you know we tried we've tried so many things and it didn't work i finally started jumping on the trampoline and oh my god it yes, really makes a huge more stress for yes. me so i have mine sitting right over here and <laughs> even if i'm Every five or 10 minutes, I have a break. I'll go jump on the trampoline and it relieves my stress. And exactly. I was so thankful for um, uh, um, Pastor Dr. Hillary. Gooding. Yeah, Dr. Hillary for sharing um, the trampoline with me some months ago. And I say, yes. I got me one and I say, I have been using it. So find something that you're going to do consistent. That's the main thing, right? Be find consistent. something, whatever works for you, just make sure it's something you're going to do. And that had always been one of my challenges, finding something that I really like. I'm not, I don't like exercise. I really don't. But the trampoline was something that I like doing. Mm -hmm. And I say, oh my God, I used to do this when I was a young child. <laughs> <laughs> and it came back and I say, that is so awesome. That's awesome. And so we got a question down there. What is that phone number? Bam, there it is. There's the phone number. <laughs> and yeah. Charlene, um, we had someone share something and they loved your comment when you said, uh, when you talked about stress and investing more time uh, in ourselves and taking care of ourselves. They just love that idea. And that came from Angie. And she also said, my friend said, self-care is a new word, especially for caregivers. Some feel guilty for leaving their role as providers, even if the time spent away is to jumpstart from being so overwhelmed. And what would you say to caregivers who actually feel that way? Because I know I've been in that role before. I was not feeling well myself, but I, I just had to go to work. But the doctors were saying, no, you can't even walk on your leg. How are you going to go? You know, how can you go to work? But there were other people who had suicidality and things of that nature. And I was concerned about them and wasn't taking care of myself. And, and what I learned back then was that I had to stop in the moment and take care of myself. Because if I'm not well, I really can't help no one as best as I would like to. So what are your thoughts about that? Yes, I think most caregivers go through that season where, you know, we feel like, you know, whether we have a cold, flu, sick or whatever, because we just feel so needed that, you know, it's not enough staff. People call in every day. If I'm not there to help, who's going to help? At the same time, you're putting yourself at risk and you're putting the patients at risk. And even now, uh, it's very challenging in facilities right now because a lot of the staff has made some transitions on that road. But in the past, it had been, we felt so guilty because we're so used to giving. And, <laughs> and when you're in that giving role of self, giving yourself to other people, you really feel bad when you can't be there. But at the same time, that's where mindset and coaching is so important for caregivers to help them to understand that somebody else is going to feel that role for you. Yep. Exactly. And you have to know that and you have to believe that somebody else, if something happened to you, somebody else is going to feel that role. And you have to just get that mindset 
turned around. You know, like that story called The World Turn. Yes, I remember as that. World we used to yep. watch that one. Well, we have to start turning our minds in a different direction because it's our mindset. Caregivers have mindset. The mindset is that I'm the only one can do it. You're not the yes. only one that can do it. <laughs> yep. And and here's and here's the thing, folks. A lot of people may say, you know, no, you know, I don't think that way. But but here's it. Mindset matters. Mm -hmm. You have to really understand how you're thinking, because we've been on autopilot. Many of us for so long, we just like we kick in like a turbo booster. But we really have to understand what we're thinking and think about what we're thinking, because when yes. we change what we think and what we think changes. And, and what I mean by that is all of what she just said. Mm -hmm. You got to realize, pay attention to what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. Know that you cannot do it all and you don't have to do it all. Right. And if you free your mind to believe and know beyond knowing that, that it's okay to take time off to take care of you, mm -hmm. then you're really making yourself better all the way around. So Phyllis Weaver has a comment. She said, I ended up in the hospital uh, for working in pharmacy, sick and taking care of the family. And now um, a lot that happens a lot yes. of times to people. What are your thoughts on that, Charlene? Yes. And that happens. I'm glad she pointed that out because caregivers, nurses, doctors, pharmacists, home caregivers get sick and you don't hear about all the caregivers that are really physically and mentally sick. And it's pretty much because of this, because we, we're forgetting about ourselves and what she just pointed out is happening every day. So now we're in a yep. spot now where we have a awful shortage of medical staff mm -hmm. all over the nation. Yep. All and, over and the nation because it's exactly. mostly because they're sick. Exactly. And here's and here's something I want to share with you. Um Miss Weaver said she had to learn how to say no. Yeah. Because so so many of us love to say yes. And and yes is great. Yes is great. But sometimes we have to embrace the fact that we have to say no. And thank you, Pastor Hillary, so much for sharing. We appreciate you. And this is the woman that taught all of us to bounce. And she said, I love it. Bounce, mm -hmm. baby, bounce. Yes. Um, and, and that's and that's the key. And I love that you shared that earlier. But mm -hmm. um, I and, and thank you so much, Pastor Hillary, because you really taught us about the lymphatic system. Okay. Yes. And how, like Miss Miss Phyllis said, she's been there, but Pastor Hillary said, you don't have to be there. You mm -hmm. can take a break in the middle of whatever you're doing. Take a break, go jump on the trampoline and get you some exercise and de-stress, decompress, and you'll feel so much better. And so here's a question for you, Miss Sparks. What if you are the only child or mm -hmm. the only sibling available and you're trying to take care of your elderly parents or something like that? That is, oh my goodness, that is a good question because there are a lot of only ch children in the family. And most of the time when you're the only child, usually you're so spoiled. You grew up having everything you yes. want and you never, you know, want to ever ask anybody outside for help. And that can become very stressful, not really uh, asking for help. And it's a surprise thing. It's really a pride thing because, you know, you've been by yourself so long. And so that's where support systems are so important. It's great to have a best friend. It's great to be connected with a good church to support you is so important that you have a coach. You have, you need a coach, especially if you're the only one, because you need some relief. 
And that is another thing that our organization is now offering through a service plan, a membership program that we have. We are offering a program to give our members relief. They just need somebody to come in and give them a break so they can get out. And that's a very challenging uh, position to be the only child. Now, I hope you have some aunts and uncles and just break your pride and talk to them and let them know you're in distress and you need some help. And just let your caseworkers know, you know, that you need that help. And sometimes they can work with you to try to find you some help, even though it's very challenging right now, you have to speak up. And I'm, I'm introverted. I mean, when I was coming up, I didn't want nobody to know nothing. And so I understand exactly what you're, what that person is experiencing because you don't want people to know that you're in that particular situation. And so I encourage a coach. I encourage a church. I encourage having at least one best friend or somebody that you can talk to who can help you to get some relief or who may be able to relieve you every now and then, because if not, you're placing yourself at high risk for other conditions. Yes, that's true. Build your community, mm -hmm. even with neighbors. You need someone close, especially for emergencies. Yes. So what would you say about things that might be out there for people um, to connect with different types of resources. And this is so, re see, this is one of the primary reasons why we incorporate resources <clears throat> and networks. Why? Because there are some people that really don't have family mm -hmm. and they may only have a few friends, but they may have neighbors. So here's where the resource come in, okay? And for those of you that need someone outside of someone you may know that might not be able to help you, here's an opportunity for you, con for you to connect and connect with people who can help you. And therefore, that's one reason why the resource guide would really, really come in handy for you. And you can connect and get that number right there so mm -hmm. you can get that resource guide. So yes. Share that yes. And you. in that resource guide, we have nurses who are self-care advocates. We have uh, other type of providers that can help you with uh, financial resources that can help you with uh, coaching resources. And so that resource directory will certainly help you, you know, to get started on your journey, especially if you are alone. All right. So I love it. So look, we have had a fantastic time. I say to you, please don't sell yourself short. Go ahead, grab that resource guide and make sure you come over and be a part of the, just the, the Caregiver's Destiny Helpers. It's going to be an amazing event and you too can join in, okay? And you can join in and win, okay? Amen. There's just no Thank two you. ways about it. You can join in and win. And so <clears throat> if you would like, uh, Miss, Miss Sparks, let's go ahead and let's tell them uh, how they can connect. And of course, I am going to give them the website so you can go and get further acquainted and further connected with her at your leisure. So let me bring that up because <clears throat> we'd love for you to attend the gala that's coming up and you can get your tickets. It's, it's very easy. Um, you can come here uh, and it works very, very easily. It's going to bring this up for you. And it's going to come down here. It's going to show you the live and virtual event. It's going to give you all the prices, the times, the dates. It's going to show you who's going to be there. I'll be there. Of course, she's going to be there. <laughs> and of course, God's simple plan, a fresh start. This is the, the young lady that's going to do.
the porch talk. Of course, she's a queen of porch talk, Miss or Pastor Dorothy May Ross. And of course, uh, Mr. Sparks, he's going to be there and a whole host of other people are going to be there and you can add it to your cart right there. And then if you want to know any more about women with vision, you can click right there and you can come on down here. We've got all kinds of videos. Uh, she's got all kinds of videos telling you about the type of events she hosts and they are explosive events. And so you definitely want to get there <clears throat> and uh, you can scroll down and I don't know why that's hazy now. It wasn't hazy. So her, her landing page is beautiful. So you can come here and get more acquainted, but most importantly, go ahead and get your ticket today. Wow. Tickets last. All right. Fantastic. And here, let me go ahead and put the uh, link on this side of the house <clears throat> so that you all can get the link and you can go right there, grab that link and get your ticket today. And so with no further ado, we are going to take a quick break and then we're going to come back and have our final words of wisdom for this broadcast this evening. So here we go. <clears throat> Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Okay, so I was saying I made a boo-boo. I was going to the commercial and I didn't give you guys the commercial. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> She's here. The phenomenal Charlene Sparks, CEO of Women with Vision. <laughs> She's the founder of Women with Vision Incorporated, the co-owner for Advantage Health Connection, INC. And she's here as we discuss Caregivers Destiny Helpers. So come on in and get in where you fit in and grab your ticket today. This is an event you don't want to miss. All right, fantastic. So with no further ado, for those of you that may just be coming in tonight, we have been talking about Caregivers Destiny Helpers with my remarkable guest all the way from Greensboro, North Carolina, the CEO of Women With Vision, Mrs. Charlene Sparks. And she's hosting phenomenal events that's taking the world by storm. And you definitely want to be a part of her events. And so if you look down at our scrollers down below, you will see, yeah, go ahead and support this broadcast, please. I don't want to forget that. And I want to say thank you to all of our sponsors uh, yeah. that help us every week. And so if you'd mm -hmm. like to support the broadcast, you can connect with us on Zelle, PayPal, and even Cash App. We would love to have your support. And so please make sure you check out Destiny uh, Helpers, uh, Caregivers, Burnout Prayer Breakfast that, that we're going to be having. It's going to be phenomenal. And you can see that scrolling below. It's going to only be, only be $30 Saturday, November 6th. Okay. And I'm going to do one better for you because I know some people say, Lolo, I can't see the ticker. So, okay. I'm going to bring it up here. So, so November 6th, 2021 from 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Remember you win. You will leave this event a winner undoubtedly so and then don't forget don't forget look down below at the ticker if you could see that we are going to have some swag bags 35 dollars. and if you can't make it go ahead and send her your information and get your information in that swag bag because she's going to get mm -hmm. those swag bags in the hands of the attendees who would just love to connect with you and share in your in your products in your services whatever you have to do. So don't forget for the resource directory, make sure you contact her for the resource directory. You can call 336-365-1457, 336-365-1457. Okay. So make sure you connect with her today. And so that's all I got to say before she shares some words of wisdom your way. Amen. 
I just want to leave you with a word that I believe is so important. We live and die by the choices that we make in our lives. And our goal is to help one another to make better choices. And it takes a community. It's just like raising a child. When your children are little or when they used to be little and your parents, your church members, your neighbors help you to raise your children, it's the same way now. Our decisions has to be made on course right now. We can't keep missing with our decisions because life is changing, it's moving so fast. And our decision-making process is going to make a difference in our lives. And that's the word I wanted to leave with you tonight. Wow. We live and die by the choices we make. And so I am so happy each and every one of you has made the choice to be with us tonight to share some time space with mm -hmm. myself and the amazing Miss Charlene Sparks the CEO of Women With Vision. And she's always sharing vision that helps us to see clearly the way ahead. And so please make sure you connect with her and don't forget to check me out tomorrow for our amazing uh, summit that we're doing. It's spectacular. We had a wonderful time during the summit and we yes. look forward to having you there. And Miss Sparks was there with us too. So make sure you Ooh. continue to support Miss Sparks and support the summit. And if you missed it, here's a little information for you about the summit. Foundation Lab First Annual Summit. It's that time to grab your ticket to this amazing social entrepreneurship for economic empowerment event. Our summit sponsors and summit organizers look forward to seeing you at the event on the 27th through the 29th of October 2021 on Zoom. Our summit is going to focus on powerful social entrepreneurship as economic development policies along with a host of other topics that is sure to knock your socks off. Our host Dr. Florence Nzabwe Dr. Lotus Roche and Dr. Ralph Steele are delighted to see you there. Grab your virtual ticket today. Show. Thank you. Yeah. Woo -hoo. Yeah. Woo -hoo. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. I love it. So, with no further ado, folks, we're super duper happy that you dropped in and spent some time with us. And so, until we meet again, please stay blessed, don't stress, and don't settle for no mess. Have a good night. Amen. Thank you for watching the show and be sure to follow us on Instagram, like and share and let us know that you care. Also, let us know what other type of shows you'd like us to present just for you. Thank you.